all animals, be it human or the blue whale, develop from a single microscopic cell called the zygote. It's very fascinating that how a single spherical cell develops into such a large organism with complex body plan. The zygote divides to develop into an embryo, then to an organism. The entire information for the development contained within the cells of the embryo, which communicate and coordinate with each other to execute a complex program to build the entire body. It's difficult to gain access to a large number of embryos. We and other researchers hence use in vitro model systems which can recapitulate the embryonic development to answer our questions. Stem cells from the pre-implantation embryos and the induced pluripotent stem cells are powerful models to study the fundamental mechanisms involved in the embryo development. The knowledge of mammalian development is evolving rapidly to the point where we are able to ask questions like can we make a developmentally competent embryo entirely from stem cells without sperm or ovum? There are intricate crosstalks of extracellular signaling, cellular metabolism and epigenetic landscape that maintain the fidelity of the development process. The different projects in our lab try to investigate each of these players to eventually contribute to a holistic understanding of the embryonic development. I am Chandrasekhar. In our lab, we are trying to understand the diverse molecular mechanisms underpinning this process. The identity of a cell is encoded in its chromatin and as development progresses, cells become gradually more restricted in their identity and lose their ability to convert to other cell types. Using a combination of flow cytometry, microscopy and single cell NGS techniques, I am trying to understand how these epigenetic restrictions or barriers are imposed on cells and how we can overcome them to direct differentiation to specific cell fates. Cell fate specification is governed by shifts in metabolic requirements. Every cell type in an embryo has its distinct manner of utilizing the nutrients. In order to understand cell type specific metabolic nodes, we are trying to investigate the key regulators of metabolism. To identify the metabolic nodes specific to each cell type, we are focusing on key metabolic regulators in their respective states. Our research employs cell type specific reporter cell lines coupled with proteomic and metabolic analysis. Cells in the embryo are organized in 3D space and time. The position of the cells in that structure and space determines its fate. During the course of development, molecular stimuli via cell-cell interaction, cellular addition molecules plays an important role in restricting the lineage of the cell and organizing those cells in proper structure. I am trying to understand what molecular mechanisms are involved during development of primitive endoderm which give rise to yolk sac precursor cells. All stimuli feed into the transcription factor networks in the cell which maintains the cells in the pluripotent state. I am studying how transcription factors regulate and fine-tune the expression of target genes to the requirement of the cell state and allow for differentiation into specific lineages. I employ various proteomics and genomics approaches to answer this question. With all the collective inference and data gained in the lab about pre-implantation embryo development, now we are trying to understand the process of embryo implantation and effects of factory implantation through generating 3D human endometrial organoids and blastoids to get more insight about early embryonic development. Lack of experimental models have limited our understanding of a range of fertility disorders including sterility, recurrent implantation failure, and spontaneous abortions in humans. We are now trying to utilize the knowledge gained from our studies and other research groups to generate human models of early pregnancy. We are hopeful some of these models will help us understand the early pregnancy in humans and also contribute to develop solutions to address some of the aspects of human infertility.